All right, so to come up with an icon, um, what I usually do is just go into paint and then just draw something stupid. Uh, I usually just do my initials. F P and save this. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you save it. I'm just going to save it as JPEG for right now because we're going to convert it to a .ico file um, with a program on the internet. So I'm just going to save this in my same directory where I've been working uh, right here and call it um, cool icon. Alright, so now we have this file. Now we just need to go to the internet and find a website that converts to ICOs and there's a ton of them. Just um, ICO converter, you can Google. Yep, that's the first one is the one I've used before. Um, you can leave all of these checked. If you want a specific one for some reason, you can, but I just leave it like that. Um, so now we need to go back to where that file is. Cool icon. And then convert it. And here we go. We have it in our downloads folder. We're just going to cut it and put it back in our back here. So we don't even need this here anymore. So now we have this Favi icon, this, um, let's change the name of that. Cool icon. So now we can go back to Pi Installer and basically give this as a parameter. Like this is what we want the icon to be. Um, so to do that, um, we'll just start, start from scratch. We'll go back to open up the command prompt, change the directory to that scripts. Um, inside your Python installation, Python 3.4 scripts, this is where we want to change the directory to. Change the directory and then we want to call pyinstaller.exe and again I think I've explained in the other video but that's actually a script in here or an executable actually we're calling upon that and we need to be in this scripts directory that's why I had to change the directory to access this. Um, so dash dash one file and now the code, the uh, input, the syntax is dot dot icon equals, and this is where you drag in your ICO. So it's pretty simple. Um, let's just make sure it works. Python. So here's our ICO. Drag it in. Space, and now just feed it your script name program. All right. So with any luck, that should work. So let's try it. Looks good so far. Let's just, while this is running, I'm going to browse to where it's going to be output. Um, C, Python, scripts, dist. Hmm. All right, that didn't appear to work. And I think, I was running into this issue earlier. For some reason, if you copy this to a different folder, like just put it on the desktop for now, it then, it then retains the icon and for subsequent copies, like for, from now on, this has the icon with it. I don't know why. I wonder if we go back to that folder or if we copy this. But I had never seen this until a few weeks ago, but um, it's not an issue. It still works. That's strange. Hmm. But yeah, let's run our program now, our executable. As you can see, FP is right here, the icon work. So type in your name, Fran. How many times would you like your name to print? 2,000. And now we're also testing to make sure, yeah, that the exit thing worked. So I'll say no, I don't want to exit. Nope. Exit. All right. So um, that's an improvement to our script so far. Um, and again, if it doesn't work in the scripts directory, it might work. I think it's just the computer I'm on. I'm a Windows 10 install and a different version of Python, so that could be the issue. It's just, I'm not quite sure what it is, but um, hopefully you won't even get that when you run it for yours. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. I know when I was able to add icons, it was a big, it was really cool. Like it was, it, it just makes the script seem more like it's yours. Um, 
All right. See you guys later.